So what you need to do now again is rub your boards and we're going to make up some calculations. I would like you to choose a number from the first set and to subtract a number from the second set and put it in the column. Would you do it in your head? Would you need some jottings to help you? Or would you need a written method which will help us with even trickier calculations? What? The other is. Yeah, but you have to take one from one box and do it on the other. Take, like, say, like, do 50. Well, it doesn't do matter. It's exactly the same as Take it. away, like, 17. Equals it's the same what? numbers. So. What? What shall I use? 189? Yeah. Take away. Well, it'd be quite hard. But it could be the 67. 44? No, actually, because that's hard to need a number. That is a very tricky calculation, isn't it? What jotting could you use for this? I think a child should always think, can I do it in my head first? And, f and follow uh, the routine of, yes, I, I think I might be able to do it in my head, but I might need some jottings or I might need to write my thought processes down. Um, and then when they realise that that's going to be rather tricky, I think that's when they need to think about using a written algorithm. Uh, 94 take away 7, no, 67, maybe. If it's 94 and minus 64, it would be easier because then you could just take away it to get to 30 and then take away 4 to yeah, get to 26. The easiest way to do it is take away less, so you had 90, and then take away 4 and then take away 3, but then put it in up. Yeah, or it's probably different take away unit. 4 first. It's a different unit, but still, if you go 67 minus 30, <laughs> if you minus are able to do one in your head, what main strategies do you think you would use? I did 78 take away 9 equals 69 because I knew 78 take away 10 equals um, 68 and then I just added one on so that's equals 69. So what is that strategy called? Adjusting it. Excellent, it's called adjusting. Another strategy for subtracting in your head. Who did one a different way? 78 take away 31. 78 subtract 31. Okay, and how did you come to that solution? What strategy did you use? I did 78 take away 30, which is um, 47, uh, 48. Yeah. So I took away one, what brought me to 47. Super. And what strategy is that called? Partitioning. Partitioning. Which number did we partition so we could do the calculation in our head? The second number. The second number, the smallest number. So we partitioned the second number. Let's move on. If we need to use jottings. Now, if anyone would like to come up and show how they might use jottings, that would be great. So you start at 189 and you take away 30 which gets you to 159 and then you take away 8 which gets you to 151. What strategy did Emily use there to find the solution? She partitioned um, 30. So she partitioned the second number again, yes? So what some of you are going to do now, you're going to practice those strategies. Should, should we take um, a number from both sides? Yeah, choose numbers from each side. And even if you do do it in your head, show which strategy you're taking you away. So we've got 94 minus 58 equals 36. How are you going to do it? What can I do? Um, I can do it in my head. Right, OK, Freddie, talk us through it then. 94 is split, that partitioned into 94. 
and 58 is into 50 add 8.